Hi folks, in this video we're going to be solving equations using logs and exponentials. Alright, since most of our work in calculus will be with continuous work, our basic equation will be the PERT equation or the PERT formula. A is going to be the amount of a population or the amount, of, you know, it could be money if you want to think of it as money, but the amount after you do this calculation over here. So you will need P, R, and T. So you compute all that and you'll get that dollar amount or that population at time T. P is the initial population or the initial amount invested in, in some kind of account. And R is the growth rate. So let's suppose that $4,000 is invested at 3.7% compounded continuously. So if it says this word, Com this uh, two words together, compounded continuously, that just means that I'm going to be using the PERT formula. Okay, but it says that 4,000 in is invested. If 4,000 is invested, then that must be my initial amount, P. 3.7%, well that's a percentage rate, so that's going to be R. So maybe I don't have enough information quite yet, but now it says how much will we have after three years? Well, since it has this unit years next to it, I know that that one is lowercase time, So, or lowercase t. So here we go, part A might look like this. A equals P e to the R t, but we're gonna be finding A, so I don't know what it is yet. I know that P is 4,000. I know that E is some number on my calculator. It's going to be that number raised to the 3.7 per cent. Now 3.7 per cent is per 100. So 3.7 divided by 100 is actually 0.037. Okay, so 0.037 power times 3. So you take that beauty and you put that in your calculator. So uh, 4,000 second, oops, I'm sorry, second, second, and then the LN button here. All right, second LN, that's the E. So E to the 0 0.037 times three. So uh, we're gonna go out to three decimals. 4469.579 okay and this is going to be dollars and cents now does it make sense to go out to three decimals with dollars and cents you might say no but I'm going to encourage you to go to three decimals anyways because that is calculus uh, uh, the AP calculus recommendation is to go out to three decimals so I know that this is closer to 58 cents but um, you might have to say 57 cents as the final answer but um, because it, it's not quite the 58 cents, right? So um, anyway, let's, let's just leave it as the three decimals. Part B, when will your amount double? Well, I gave you a nice little hint over here if you're trying to do this on your own. If you want to double your amount, let A equals two times the principal and then solve for t. Well, if a equals 2 times the principal, then a equals p-e-r-t actually becomes 2p equals p-e to the 0.037t. All right? Now, um, if the principal was 4,000, then actually we could actually put the number 4,000 in there. So that would give me 8,000 equals 4,000 e to the 0.037t. But really, we didn't even have to put um, any numbers in there because if we divide by p, wouldn't we have gotten 2? Yeah, because the p's would cancel out. So in the next case, I'm going to be dividing by 4,000, and what are we going to get? Exactly, 2, right? So we're going to be dividing by 4,000 on both sides, and we get 2 on the left, 
equals e to the 0.037 t. And now we're left with an exponential equation and the way we get rid of exponentials is we take the natural log of both sides or any log of both sides but I typically do the natural log. So a natural log of 2 equals the natural log of e to the 0.037 t. All right. Well, I can drop that power out front by the power property. Natural log 2 equals 0.037 t times natural log e. Natural log e is just cancels out to be 1. So I need to divide by the rate to get my final answer. t equals the natural log of 2 over 0.037. And then we put that in our calculator. Natural log 2 divided by 0.037. Sorry about the glare on the calculator. But um, 18.734. Eighteen point seven three four years. So it's going to take us eighteen years to double our money. Now, there are actually a, a couple of equations that we could use. So if you want to highlight these and keep these in your head, um, it will make sense, but um, to me, the algebra makes sense more than memorizing the formula. So if I wanted to double something, then I would just do ln2 divided by the rate. And if I wanted to triple something, then it would be ln3 divided by the rate. So if you go back and check this one, it was exactly that, ln2 divided by the rate. All right? So um, the last example we have, I encourage you guys to pause the video and give it a try and then I'm going to show you how to look at this problem. Okay, so um, this problem says what's the growth rate of the town? Well, hmm, I'm not really sure how to figure out the rate. I know that I've solved for t before and I've solved for um, a capital A before um, on these notes so this time I need to solve for R okay so basically this question is saying what is R alright well let's start off in 1980 let's assume that um, in 1980 time was equal to zero and the population Let's talk about the population capital. Uh, I don't want to use P. Um, let's just say Poppin. All right, so the population was 57,840. And then there are a lot of years between that. And then it says in 1990, year 10, it's 65,250. So basically, it has to be 57,000 times something, times something, times something, times something, times something. Ten times until you get to 65,250. All right, so give that a thought. If you, if you haven't tried that yet, go ahead and give that a thought to see what you can come up with. Okay, so um, if you thought of this, I'm taking 57,000 840 and I'm multiplying by R how many times? R times R times R times R times R times R times R all the way out 10 times, right? Okay, so that is going to be our amount. And then that will allow us to solve for R. I'm sorry, it should be E to the 10R because it's a continual 
growth. Okay, so, um, and actually that amount would be 65,250. So I messed that up trying to make a beautiful illustration for you. But anyways, uh, I guess what I was trying to show you was that you can figure this out using a table, assuming that you are still using A equals P-E-R-T. So A equals P-E to the R-T. All right, the amount after all of this is 65,250. The amount before all of it takes place, or the initial amount, is 57,840. is e to the r. I know I don't know the r, but I do know that it's going over 10 years. So we're going to divide the 57,840 on both sides, 57,840. And I am not going to write that decimal down. I'm going to leave that one in my calculator. So 65,250 divided by 57,840. 1.128. Okay, well, I, I have to write something down, I guess. 1.128. But please don't use 1.128 in your calculation. What you're going to do is use um, all, ten, all 10 decimals from your calculator. Okay? So... Uh, what we'll need to do now, it says e to the r, t, uh, r time, r times 10. So we're going to natural log both sides. And when we natural log both sides, that'll give me 10r on one side. And that'll give me ln of 1.128. And then I'll divide by 10, and that will be my final answer. Okay? So, uh, I kind of skipped forward, I think, a little bit. This LNE is going to cancel. So this 10R, that, that should have said 10R LNE. But the LNE, remember, is just 1. All right? So uh, that 10R, and then you divide by the 10, and that's what canceled that 10 out there. Okay, so let's go on back. And instead of typing in LN 1.128, I'm going to type in second, L, I'm sorry, LN and I'm going to push up and get that number, the whole thing, divided by 10. And the reason you want to do that is because if you start rounding too soon, your decimal at the end might be thrown off. So our answer is 0 0.012, 0 0.012, or 1.2%, right? So the growth rate of that population is 1.2%. All right, guys, that is your vi video on solving equations using logs and exponentials. I hope it's helpful.